probably already know that the green theorem that is uh, the line integral, line integral on a clo closed uh, curl can be evaluated by a double integral. Provided that the uh, the domain or the region enclosed by the uh, by the closed curl is a simple uh, simple uh, simply connected domain, and uh, P Q have continuous different uh, continuous first derivative. There's two conditions. And uh, we can use Green theorem to evaluate uh, general line integrals. The first is uh, we evaluate the line integral L uh, F dot D R equals that L P X Y dx plus qxy dy. How to evaluate the uh, line integral using Green's theorem? There are some conditions. The first, uh, if the L is closed and uh, pxy qxy have uh, continuous first derivative uh, inside L. Then we can use green theorem directly. Second, if L is closed, but PXY or QXY have uh, some singularities. Inside, uh, the singularity may be uh, the singularity may be uh, the, uh, if not, not continuous or uh, not differentiable. Uh, if I, if p x y or co Cool x y have some singularities uh, inside inside L. Then we uh, maybe we use the method that first dig out singularities dig out singularity and uh, then use green theorem. Uh, what does this mean? What does this mean? If this is L as positive orientation with with positive orientation. If this is the singularity, this point is singularity. And we dig out what this mean. We draw, we uh, construct a circle centered at this point, and consider the domain 
inside L, outside we call this this uh, line. Maybe we call this L two. The domain. First, we consider the domain. Consider the domain inside the L, outside the L two. Then, then in uh, on the D on the domain D, the uh, on the domain D we can use Green's theorem. On D, D that is inside L outside. L2. We can use green here. But green theorem only uh, can only apply for simply connected domain. So how to uh, this is not simply connected domain, but we can uh, divide it into simply connected domain and call uh, this is D I don't know we call this is D1 and this is D2 and both in D1 and D2 are simply connected for D1 the Orientation is this, and in this line is this way, and for the for the circle is this way, clockwise, and here, and in for D two, the orientation is here. So. <coughs> These two straight line and the integrals on this these two straight line and to, uh, should be zero because they have uh, reverse direction. One is positive, one is negative. So on the two straight line is zero, and for the L two for the L two is. Uh, clockwise the direction is clockwise so it's reverse the re reverse direction <clears throat> that means that means the L the integration on L F dot dr uh, plus the reverse L2 f dot dr that is on d partial q partial uh, x minus partial p partial y dx dy <coughs> so after we take this to the right hand side uh, and then the line integral f dot dr is the double integral on d Man, uh, plus l2 here is positive uh, positive uh, orientation f dot dr that's that's uh, that's the case if the uh, if p or q has singularities inside the l inside the closed curve and the third one if l is not closed then we uh, add some assistance assistant lines To make it closed, F 
for example, if the L is here, its direction is this way, then we add a line like this, this we call L2, then it's closed, that here is D. So L, L F D R dot D R. It, uh, because the L2 is reverse, rever reverse direction. Uh, plus L negative L2 F dot D R equals the uh, partial Q partial X minus partial P partial Y dx dy. Uh, in some constant, maybe uh, if if this this way, if it's this way, maybe that that's that depends that depends on the on the curve. So actually, the the uh, principle is add add assistant add assistant line to make it closed and. Uh, uh, and it did, uh, use the, if the the direction is depends on the depends on the form of L. L. That's three cases, and to evaluate line integral use, using Green's theorem. Now let's uh, take some examples. The first one is evaluate. The line integral. If the line integral is closed, L uh, y square as um, two x minus y plus four d x plus five x five y five y plus three x minus 6 and dy where L is the triangle we uh, the triangle with vertex Vertices, uh, vertices, uh, zero, zero, three, zero, and uh, three, two. Vertices and uh, with and uh, with positive orientation. Okay, the solution is first we know that the p x y q x y are polynomials. So polynomials. Uh, Polynomials are always uh, smooth, that is continuous and uh, has uh, infinite, uh, de uh, infinite de derivatives, infinite order derivatives. So it's smooth. So has to, uh, has no singularity in singularities in uh, on the whole plane. So we can, uh, and and the L is closed. So we can use Green theorem directly. The domain, uh, this triangle is zero zero two three zero and three two. The line is this way, this is a line, and it's positive orientate, orientate, orientated.
So the D is inside. D is inside the uh, in, inside the triangle, and uh, the D can be write as x y x greater than zero, 0 less than 3 y greater than 0 less than um, 2 third x this line this line is y equals 2 over 3 x so the line integral 2x minus y plus 4 dx plus 5y plus 3x minus 6 dy can be write as the double integral partial q partial x minus partial p partial y dx dy the partial q partial x that is partial partial x 5y plus 3x minus 6 minus partial partial y that is 2x minus y plus 4 dx dy and d is from 0 to 3 that's x y is from 0 to 2 over 3x Partial x, this partial x that is 3, this partial y is negative 1, minus negative 1 plus 1, then dy dx, that is 4, 0 to 3, that's y, it's constant, and y, that 2 over 3x, then dx, that is uh, 4 over 3 x square 0 to 3 that is 12 this is 12 uh, the pq are the most function the most functions inside the inside the closed curve and uh, mm. And and uh, it's and both our P and Q has no singularity inside the inside the curve, so we can use the green theorem directly. And second, uh, the second one, the second example. Suppose the f x or y equals um, negative y i plus x j over x square plus y square uh, evaluate the line integral f dot dr where Piecewise piecewise smooth curve uh, piecewise smooth smooth uh, smooth uh, simple connect a uh, simple closed such 
that origin is in, uh, such that uh, mm, well, it's a piecewise same smooth close such that L encloses origin. So in uh, for this example, we don't know what the uh, parametrician of L. Uh, we, we just know that it's a, it's a simple closed curve, enclosed uh, origin. But we know for this one, we know that PXY equals negative Y right here negative y over x square plus y square and q x y equals x over x square plus y square mm, has sing have singularity has singularity zero zero so oh, the origin is is a singularity of p and q so we have to dig out this point and consider the, the domain inside uh, inside the L. The L is positive orientated. And outside the L2. We use L2, that is x squared plus y squared equals uh, x sum a squared, where a is small enough. Such that x squared plus uh, such that L2 such that L2 is enclosed is enclosed in L2 uh, in L so by the um, by the second uh, use the second uh, use the second condition the second type so we know that the L F dot dr plus the negative L2 F dot dr is the integration in D on D that partial Q partial X minus partial P partial Y dx dy. So the f dot dr on L that is d partial q partial x minus partial p partial y dx dy plus on L2 as L2 still closed f dot dr because in this time, uh, in at the left hand side, the L2 is reversed orientation. We note that the or we note that the reverse orientation for any uh, for any for any uh, for for any line. For any line, is if it's reverse, reverse uh, direction, that equals negative. The positive orientation. Uh, by the by the definition of the uh, line integral, we know we know this part. Okay, now we compute the right hand side. 
partial q partial x that is d uh, partial partial x that's x over x squared plus y squared use the quotient rule as x squared plus y squared and square um, x squared plus y squared minus x times 2x that is uh, y square minus x square over x square plus y square and then square and partial p partial y as partial partial y negative y x square plus y square is quotient rule that is negative x square plus y square minus negative y times 2y over x square plus y square and then square that is y square minus x square over x square plus y square and square that means partial q partial x minus partial p partial y that equals zero so this part partial q partial x minus partial p partial y dx dy this part is zero the first part is zero and for l2 l2 f dot dr the l2 l2 can be write as uh, because l2 can be write as x equals a cosine t y equals a sine t and t from 0 to 2 pi because it's a circle so a is uh, integral that is from 0 to 2 pi uh, first we write as the L2 that's negative y dx plus x dy over x square plus y square. First, uh, x uh, on L2, x square plus y square is a square, and t is from 0 to 2 pi. That's a square. y is a sine t and dx x is a cosine t and dx is negative a sine t dt uh, plus x is a cosine t dy is a sine t uh, a cosine t because y is a sine t a cosine t and times dt so the after we simplify, we have no. The long nature is a sine square plus a cosine square, so it's a square over a square dt, that is 2 pi. So, for any line, a uh, closed line, encloses the origin the negative y dx plus x dy over x square plus y square that is 2 pi that's the uh, domain has, has singularities example for the domain has singularities the third example is uh, related to the open curve. A value h, the line integral 2x y cube minus y square cosine x dx plus 1 minus 2y sine x plus 
3x square y square dy where l is the parabola two x equals pi y square from zero zero to pi over two one. Okay, this is a open curve. It's not a closed curve, so we cannot apply the Green's theorem directly. The curve is here. That's pi over 2. That's pi over 2 to 1. If we evaluate the, the line integral directly, we know that we find that the function is too complicated. Uh, Actually, we can uh, we can e use the line integral di directly, but uh, there's too much to do, uh, too much work to be uh, to be done. So, uh, we'd better to use the green theorem to evaluate uh, this line integral. Okay, uh, now it's a curve. It's a parabola. So we add two lines to make it closed. Actually, we have many choices, but this choice, this choice is the most sim uh, mo the the simplest because it's a straight line and with uh, x equals constant or y equals constant. Now uh, the line. The L is orientated this way, so we use this orientation. It's clockwise, so it's uh, reverse. We call this line L1, this L2. So the line integral f dot dr uh, plus the L1 is negative, is negative orientation, f dot dr, and plus the negative L2, f dot dr. Because this, clo this uh, closed curve is clockwise, so it's negative, actually it's negative because it's uh, reverse or so positive orientation partial q partial x minus partial p partial y dx dy so the the l dot dr is negative partial q partial x minus partial p partial y dx dy plus the in l1 on l1 f dot dr plus on l2 f dot dr now we compute partial q partial x Partial Q, partial X, yeah, partial, partial X, the Q is 1 minus 2 Y sine X uh, plus 3 X square uh, Y square. Partial X, that is negative 2 Y cosine X plus 6 X Y square. And partial P, partial Y. That's partial partial y as 2x y cube minus y square cosine x uh, derivative to y that is 6x y square uh, minus 2y cosine x 
So we know that partial Q, partial X equals partial P, partial Y. So the first part is zero. So the first uh, the double integral partial q partial x minus partial p partial y over d dx dy is zero. That's the first part. We call this first part. The second part for L1. L1 is x equals x equals pi over 2. And L1, now we uh, choose L1 to be positive, uh, positive, uh, the positive, positive orientation. So uh, y is from 0 to uh, 1. So the L1 f dot dr uh, because x equals pi over 2 so dx equals 0 that is the first part 2x that is 0 uh, y from 0 to, to 1 x to be uh, pi over 2 so 1 1 minus 2y sine pi over 2 plus uh, 3x square y square 3x square is pi over 2 square y square then dy sine pi over 2 is 1 so that is y minus y square uh, plus uh, 3 pi square over 4 uh, that's y square so there's no 3 here so y cube from 0 to 1 that is pi square over 4 so on L1 the line integral is pi square over 4 the third one the third part l2 l2 is y equals 0 x from the l1 and the l2 now choose to the positive orientation that is actually uh, is this orientation that's for l1 and l2 x is from 0 x from 0 to pi over 2 so y equals 0 so dy is 0 dy equals 0 x from 0 to 1 and y equals 0 uh, so that's 0 for the px is 0 dx plus 0 dy is 0 so that's zero. Add together, so we have P L uh, three. That that's six. Add two x y cube. Two x y cube minus uh, minus y square cosine x. Y square cosine x dx plus uh, 1 minus 1 minus 2y sine x uh, plus 3x square y square dy is actually pi square over 4 that's, uh, uh, that's a trick that if we choose the assistant lines it's better to use the horizontal and uh, vertical lines because it's easier to compute. For horizontal lines, uh, its, uh, it's expression is y equals constant, so dy equals 0. 
and for vertical lines as x equals constant so dx equals zero so it's easier to compute okay that's the uh, application of green theorem to line integrals